Hi friends, my today's video is about the acceptance criteria for radiography test. And this this acceptance criteria is as per ASME section eight, division one. So this is as per ASME section eight, division one. Friends. The acceptance criteria for radiography test is given in UW fifty one of ASME section eight, and this is especially given in UW fifty one sub para B. And the page number which you have to refer is page one forty eight and one forty nine. So UW fifty one is given in. Page number one forty eight and one forty nine. Secondly, we have to refer one more. Uh, this is mandatory appendix four. Mandatory appendix four. Here also you will find acceptance criteria for radiography test, and this mandatory appendix four is. Can be found on page number four hundred to four zero three. So this UW fifty one is for linear indication. It is more mostly for linear indication. And U mandatory appendix four is for rounded indication. So friends, uh, those who don't know the difference between linear indication and rounded indication, I'll explain this. Linear indication and rounded indication. Linear indication is the one. in which length of the indication shall be greater than 3 times the 3 times the width of the indication length greater than 3 times the width of the indication and mostly in linear indication we found lop lack of penetration lack of fusion cracks etc so these are the form of forms of linear indication whereas in rounded indication length remains equal to or less than 3 times the width of the indication length equals to or less than 3 times of the indication this rounded indication can be in any shape or any size it can be circular it can be elliptical or it can be any irregular shape so this is rounded indication For linear indication, you have to refer U W fifty one, and for rounded indication, you have to refer mandatory appendix four. Now we will start with U W fifty one. U W fifty one. So mostly there is three criteria for uh, acceptance of radiography test, acceptance or rejection of radiography test. The first first one is any crack. lack of penetration or incomplete penetration lack of fusion and or incomplete fusion shall not be accepted means it has to be rejected this is the first criteria crack lop and lof shall be rejected the second criteria is any elongated elongated indication any elongated indication shall be considered unacceptable which has a length greater than 6 mm for t less than 19 mm here friends t is the thickness of let me explain you suppose this is your welding so here deposited weld metal this is a deposited weld metal t is the thickness of deposited weld metal 
excluding excluding allowable reinforcement means the reinforcement shall not be considered excluding reinforcement so if the thickness of the deposited weld metal is less than 19 mm then in that case any elongated inclusion more than 6 mm shall be rejected and less than 6 mm shall be accepted this was the first case the second case is elongated inclusion with length 1/3 of t more than 1/3 of t for thickness of deposited weld metal between 19 mm 19 mm to 57 mm if the thickness of deposited weld metal is equal to or more than 19 mm and equal to or less than 15 7 mm then in that case any elongated indication having length more than 1/3 of t shall be rejected and the final criteria under this heading is any elongated indication having length more than 19 mm for deposited weld metal thickness more than 57 mm shall be rejected so this is the last criteria more for more deposited weld metal thickness more than 157 mm 57 mm any elongated inclusion any elongated indication more than 19 mm shall be rejected so friends this is the second uh, case first one was crack second one was elongated indication and the final and the last criteria is if we have segregated indications then in that case what will we do if we are having segregated indication or group of indication so any group of indication in line with aggregate length or total length of the group of indication more than t more than the thickness of deposited weld metal shall be rejected i will explain you this suppose this is your cross section of welding and the thickness of the welding is t mm for a now for example see if we have some indication here okay let us name this indication this is i1 this is i2 this one is i3 i4 and i5 so we have five indications now our condition is total length of the indication total length of indications that is i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 plus i5 total length of indication shall be more than the thickness of deposited weld metal then if it is if it is more than deposited weld metal then it shall be rejected and if it is less than or equal to thick deposited weld metal then accepted now we have some two conditions here first condition is that the length this group of indication shall be within a length of 12 t 12 t first to the last indication or first to the last which we are considering shall be within a length of 12 t and the second condition is that the successive distance means i bit distance between i1 to i2 or distance between i2 to i3 or distance between i3 to i4 shall not be more than 6l where l is the length of the longest diff, longest indication suppose in our case we we have the longest indication is i3 and its length is l then length between the successive indication shall not be more than 6 L. So this was the final criteria for acceptance or rejection of uh, linear indications. Now, friends, we'll move towards rounded indications. Rounded indication is quite complex because it involves, you know, chart and tables. You have to refer some chart, some tables, but. i'll give you the major important points so
so that it will be easier to and easier for you to understand whenever you refer the chart or table so the major point which it says that any relevant indication any rounded indication rounded relevant indication which exceed which exceed first one one tenth of t for t less than 3 mm again t is the thickness of deposited weld metal so if the thickness of deposited weld metal is less than 3 mm then any rounded indication having dimension more than 1 by 10 more than 1 tenth of the thickness shall be rejected and equal to or less than then accepted the second criteria under this heading is any rounded indication having dimension more than 35 mm 0.35 mm shall be rejected for thickness more than or equal to 3 mm and less than or equal to 6 mm deposited weld metal thickness between 3 to 6 mm the third criteria is rounded indication having dimensions more than 75 mm shall be rejected for deposited weld metal thickness more than 6 mm and less than or equal to 50 mm the final criteria is the dimension of rounded indication if it is found more than 1.5 mm more than 1.5 mm for deposited weld metal thickness more than 50 mm shall be rejected so this was the final criteria friends i hope you like this video thank you very much